Hello everybody, welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I am super excited about today's design. We're gonna be doing a blue and silver design. I know we've done um, these colors before, um, but I just love it. We're gonna be using the royal blue today. I think the design we did before was our midnight blue. Um, so we're gonna be making a swag. And I wanna go over some of the supplies that we're gonna be using before we get started. So today we're going to be using two swag bases. I just have this flocked swag base here. And then we're going to be going in with this one here. So the two of these swag bases are really going to um, take care of a lot of the greenery. We're not going to be putting in much additional greenery today in this design. We're going to go in with a little bit of our, our flock cypress spray. I've just cut up some of the pieces. And then we're going to be using our royal blue um, poinsettia flowers. Aren't these just gorgeous? And then we're going to be going in with our blue sprays and our silver sprays. I did bring in a couple of ornaments that I had got from Hobby Lobby, some little silver ornaments. So we may add these in here as well. Um, as far as ribbon goes, we're going to be using the beautiful blue and silver ribbon here and I have just a little piece of a silver ferro silk we're going to add in there as well. Um, so I think it's going to turn out beautifully. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our two swag bases put together. So I have this one here. We're just fluffing out the branches just a little bit because we're going to be layering this one on top and blending. So I'm just going to lay this one right on top. I'm going to actually twist this little piece right here to kind of help hold or hide that wire. And we're just going to get this zip tied together in a couple of places. I don't want to keep zip tied. You can, uh, well, we can wrap some of the pine ties around it too, but I just want to get it secured with a zip tie just for a little extra security here. Okay, let's do probably one more. I'm gonna go up closer to the top. And we are working with the flocking, so it is a little messy. Just a uh, a little disclaimer there. I love the look of the flock, but it does get messy. Okay, so we've got those zip tight in. This is so pretty. I just love how these just are standing at attention. We're not gonna have to add a whole lot of greenery to it because the two of those together give us a nice space here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our ribbon added. So I have just this little scrap piece of silver fair silk ribbon. So I'm gonna use this. And I kind of, for this design, think I want a little bit of a droopy bow. So it's just gonna kind of hang just the way this um, swag is flowing. So that's kind of my thought process. So we're gonna go in with this one and I'm gonna get a little bit of our blue here. And I'm just doing a one loop. So just one loop, okay, twisting. So I think we're just gonna have that right about in there. Let me get a pipe cleaner. Okay, I got our ribbon added just a little bit higher. I think I like that a little bit better. Let's work on getting the placement of our flowers. I'm not gonna glue them in just yet. I wanna just kinda see where I want them. Okay, 
kind of thinking three. Kind of like that right there. I think I like that. So let's get these added. And I think this one I'm going to, there's not, we don't have a lot of greenery there to sort of hang on to with our glue. So I think I'm going to just take my pipe cleaner, wrap around this stem onto the spine, and then we'll glue it. That's going to help hold that in there. Okay, so I just wrap that stem against the spine. And then I'm going to hit it with my blade. That just gives it something else to hold on to because we don't have a lot of greenery in here yet. We're not going to add a lot of greenery. I just want to make sure it's going to stay. Yeah, oh, and I just stuck my hand right in that glue. I think I'm going to draw more at a diagonal on that one and over here on that one. Kind of space it out a little bit more that way. I'm going to get us added up on the reed stand and we will finish. Okay, so we have it up on our stand here. I am going to add a few more pieces of our cypress now and just kind of fill in a little bit. And then we're going to start adding our sprays. Not a whole lot of product in this design, which is good. I'm just adding a few little pieces of cypress, kind of where I see a hole. This one will be a little less expensive, but just because we don't have to add so much greenery, we're going to keep it fairly minimalist as far as product goes. Of course, she'll have a little bit of expense with the florals um, and your swag bases, but we're not going to add a lot of other greenery to it. a few pieces of just some scrap um, snowy lamb's ear. Um, I'm just going to add a few pieces here and there with this. This is optional. You don't have to do this. Um, I think I want to fill the sides out just a little bit more. So I'm going to just go in with some scrap greenery that I have. Use whatever you have available. So let's start adding our sprays. So we got our blue ones and our silver ones. I'm going to start with the blue. We're just going to kind of alternate all the way around. So I'll do a few with you guys. And we'll speed this part up so you don't have to watch me put these all the way around the wreath. But I'm just going to kind of alternate um, between our blue and our silver. Now I cut up three blue and two silver. I want a pop of silver, but I want the blue to primarily be our stars. Plus that you get more on the silver brush than you do on the blue one, so.
this is a longer piece. I'm going to go more towards the center with that one. one more and then I'm just going to continue going all the way around the outside of our swag and then I'll come back and we'll work together on um, the center. Okay, I've gone all the way around the outside. Let's work on putting some pieces together towards the inside of the design. Starting to come together. I'm going to go sort of right in there with that one. I think I want to hit one right underneath the floral stem there. I want to go one right up underneath there. We still have our little ornaments if we want to get them added. Okay, before we add any more, let's see if we want to get the ornaments added. Okay, we're going to get a couple of these ornaments added. It'd be easier for me to do them. Um, on the table than hanging up. So I just added one right there, kind of right underneath our little tail here. I think I've got four of them. So I think we could tuck another one sort of right in here. I'm just going to glue that one. I'm not going to worry about trying to uh, hang that. It's got a lot of greenery there. It can be glued to. Okay, so I just tuck that one in right there. Got two more. Let's see where we want them. Thinking maybe one right there. I'm just going to glue. You can tie it in. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. These are very lightweight. And there's a lot of greenery right here. It's going to glue just fine to that. We're going to try to tuck it right back there. More sprays and then I think we are going to be done. Okay, I was going to there. Got a couple more blue. I think, I think I got three more blue pieces. Before I glue that, let me just put them here and see if I like the placement. Thinking that's going to be kind of like our topper. Yes, I like it. Okay. Glue these in. Okay, y'all, we have finished our beautiful um, royal blue and silver swag. I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. Um, we would also love to have you over in our VIP membership group where you get a couple of exclusive tutorials every month for less than five bucks. So we would love to have you join us over there as well. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.